What's up guys? So it's a little bit windy out here today. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, walking up here, I got a pecan tree. I traded some eggs. I had to duck underneath that dogwood. I traded some eggs uh, to someone who is related to the same people that were trading the chickens out for plants to have the nursery. So I told him he wanted some eggs. I told him, you know, be $10 or I'll trade them for a pecan tree. So we got another, got another pecan tree. It's already been pruned up. It's still alive. There's no leaves on it, but it's because of the time of year it is. So we're going to go up here to the orchard and install one more pecan tree. So whenever I'm planting something out here in the field, I don't really do nothing too special to it. I pretty much just dig a big hole, put the tree in, I said it, I don't put it flush with the ground because we're going to put mulch on it. So high and tight, just put it up about that far, and a couple inches above the ground because we're going to put about six inches of mulch and we're going to pack it really tight in there. So I'll show you guys digging a hole. Sun's kind of bright. Sorry, I'm squinting. I got on sunglasses. Maybe I'll just put them on. All right. this wind but I forgot I've got all that composted horse manure over there so I'm gonna get a little bit of that mixed in this dirt because I've got it why not add a little nutrients so we we'll get a little bit of that bring it back over and we'll put the tree in this wind's whipping out here I feel like what's the name? Jim Cantoy from the Weather Channel. This is Brandon Josie, News Channel 5, out here at Three Pines Farm. The wind will not stop blowing, but at least it's 70 something degrees. We're gonna put this tree in the ground. So, long since I had to go get the manure, I went ahead and load the wheelbarrow up with some wood chips to put around it instead of making two trips. So, we're gonna put a little bit of this composite horse manure in the hole and then. Put the tree in, pack it tight, we'll put the mulch around it. These wood chips have already started breaking down some. We got them last season, so that'll add more nutrients. That's pretty much it. That's all I do. Supposed to get some more rain coming in next week, so that'll help out. But all the wood chips, that'll lock in the moisture, help keep these plants hydrated, especially out here in the middle of this field. But uh, yeah, hopefully 
I said that wasn't the most informative informative video ever, but that's just what I do. I dig a hole and put it in and I hope for the best. I want trees that are gonna survive out here. We wanna do this as low maintenance as possible. So that's what we do. We got the mulch around it, don't have to weed eat. I can take the zero turn, whip around them. Pretty much is all of it. The mulch is thick enough, it keeps most of the weeds out. So this little short one, hope you guys enjoy it. Catch you on the next one. God bless you.